Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. I want to encourage you today to find your purpose. Your purpose is the reason why God created you. No one knows the functionality or the purpose of a thing like the manufacturer, the creator. Just like no one knows all about you. No one knows your purpose on earth except your creator, God. You are not here on earth by accident and you are not a mistake. No matter what anybody thinks or says about you or no matter how you feel about yourself, I want to let you know today, according to God's word, God knows you. He knows you by name. He loves you. He cares for you and he has a purpose for your life. God has designed you to play a unique role here on earth. You have a destiny that will bring glory to God. Understanding your unique destiny begins with understanding what the Bible says about your purpose as one of God's people. The Bible says in Jeremiah 1 verse 5, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, as I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Also, 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That is God's plan for you. That is his purpose for your life. That is his will for your life. So you are better than whatever anyone thinks about your life. You are better than your circumstances. You are better than whatever is going on in your mind. That is not according to the will of God. The whole world is full of darkness. Only in God can you find the light that will help you navigate the world with ease. Instead of getting depressed, instead of getting worried, instead of getting confused, get connected to your creator, your manufacturer, Jesus Christ, your God. First Peter chapter 5 verse 1 says, Casting all your cares upon him, upon Jesus Christ, for he cares for you, Casting all your cares upon him, upon God, upon the Lord Jesus Christ, for he cares for you. So no matter what you are passing through, no matter what anyone is saying about you, you are better than whatever anyone is calling you. Submit to the Lordship of our Lord Jesus Christ and it will give you rest. It will give you peace of mind and all the good things that your heart so desires. More importantly, it will reveal your purpose in life to you. Because he's your creator, he's your manufacturer, he knows why he has created you. So to find your purpose, you must seek God. Who is your creator? He is the only one who can tell you why he created you and put you on this planet Earth. He is the only one who can tell you how and where he wants you to function according to his will. Until you find your divine purpose, life may not make any meaning to you. When you find your purpose and you are committed to it, when you find your purpose and you are committed to it, you will have peace in your heart no matter your circumstances. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. So listen please, no matter where you are hearing this from, no matter the circumstances surrounding your life, please, even if it's depression, whatever it is, listen to the word of God concerning your life today. For I know the thoughts, that is God talking to you. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Say it the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, 
to give you an expected end. Verse 12 says, Then shall you call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. So God is calling you because he has a wonderful plan for your life. He has a purpose for your life. He's saying in that verse 12, then shall ye call upon me. He's waiting for you to call upon him. He's waiting for you to ask him questions. He's waiting for you to communicate with him. And he has promised, say, I will hearken unto you. Verse 13 says, and ye shall seek me and find me. When ye shall search for me with all your hearts. So there must be willingness. There must be willingness to ask God for that purpose. There must be willingness in your hearts. Then you must seek him. You must give it everything to find out what your purpose on earth is. Now, what do you do? Read your Bible. The Bible is the word of God. It is manual for us here, his children. His manual to navigate life's journey according to his will. When you read the word of God, God will speak to you. When you read the word of God, he will speak to you. God will speak to you. He will speak to your heart. He will reveal himself to you. It is important for you to read God's word. That is where you can find all answers, all the answers, all the answers to the questions in your heart, everything troubling your heart, that is where you will find answer. You have to read the word of God. The next thing to do, join a Bible-believing church. The Bible commands that we should not forsake the assembly of one another. So it is important for you to go to church. Look for a Bible-believing church close to you or let the Spirit of God direct you. Make sure you join the assembling of believers. That is another way to find purpose. The last thing I want to share with you today, pray to God to get answers to every issue troubling your heart. You have to pray to God as he has promised you that when you, when, you, when you call upon him, when you pray, he said he will hearken, he will listen, he will answer you. He will, he, he will give you the desires of your heart. He has promised that in his, in his word as, uh, from where we read in Jeremiah. So you must pray. No one can tell you the mind of God except God tells you. He tells you, he speaks to you directly. He wants to you to communicate to him, with him. He wants you to ask him questions. He wants you to ask him, why am I here? Don't get frustrated. Don't be depressed. Don't be discouraged with all the happenings around the world. Focus on God. He has a purpose for you. You are not here by mistake. You are not here by accident. God loves you. He knows you by name. He's waiting for you to call upon him. He's waiting for you to ask him questions. He's waiting for you, opening his arms to welcome you to himself. God bless you in Jesus' name. Let's pray this simple prayer as we close. Close your eyes and say this. Say, Lord Jesus, reveal yourself to me and direct me the right way to go. Say that. That's a simple prayer. Let's pray together. Say, Lord Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, reveal yourself to me and direct me in the right way to go. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you once again. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Remain blessed. Bye.